Hello, dear learners. Welcome back to another lesson. Most of us like history and uh, we also enjoy stories from history. So the next poem we're going to see is The Last of the Princess by A.K. Ramanjam. The plan for our session would be in the form of an itinerary and we'll be going on a journey. The itinerary for the session is uh, our destination one would be a discussion on the poet, poet's profile we'll be going through. Our destination two will be the poem explanation, line by line explanation of the poem. Our destination three would be a thematic discussion. We will highlight on the themes that discuss the important themes that have been highlighted by A.K. Ramanujam in this poetry. And all of you hope you enjoy this journey with me as we go to learn about the last of the princes. So let's arrive at our destination one, which is a pro poet's profile. So A.K. Ramanujam, his full name was Atipat Krishnaswami Ramanujam, was born on 16th March 1929 at Mysore and his parents were very knowledgeable people and he was a poet, a scholar, a linguist, a philologist, a folklorist, a translator and a playwright and he went on to educate himself first in India and then abroad and he worked at the Chicago University US for quite some time and uh, the, the remarkable contribution of his uh, writings are in English, in Tamil and in Kannada. And his two volumes of poems, The Striders and Relationships, actually put him on the world map. It made him renowned and famous. And the features of his poems are they have unforgettable images, familiar relations, ironic descriptions and there's a lot of Indian touch. There's this Indianness which he brings out in his poems and a no lot of nostalgia. We also find that he represents the microcosm, the microcosm life of the Indian to represent the macrocosm of the Indian experience. So that is one highlight of his poems. And critics have also uh, spoken a lot about him and we have two famous critics, Vijay Kumar Das and Hetsi Harix, who have the following to say about A.K. Ramanujam. Vijay Kumar Das comments that he combines in him the vision of a folklorist, the insight of a poet, and the skill of a translator. Whereas Harix goes on to say that he used language with a surgeon-like precision. So he has won a lot of fame and name for his paintings. And he died on 13th July 1993. So that was our destination one. So let's move on to our next destination, which is the line by line explanation of the poem. And uh, this poem, The Last of the Princes, has 28 lines and it is a tragic commentary on the life of the last princess. So for our convenience, we'll be dividing the poem into two halves. And uh, the halves will be discussed on the following themes, that is deterioration of the dynasty in the flux of time and deterioration of the last prince in the flux of time. So we'll be analyzing the poem on these two fronts. So moving on, we can find and we'll uh, divide the poem for our benefit, the deterioration of the dynasty in the flux of time. The following lines are included, which include the first four paragraphs of the line of the uh, poem sorry and so we find in these first four paragraphs he talks about how this dynasty had uh, deteriorated how it had declined so we see Ramanujan begins off by saying that they took their time to die the dynasty falling in slow motion from Aurangzeb's time so it was from the time of Aurangzeb who is considered as the last of the princes of the Mughal dynasty and from him ta his time onwards, the royal family, they slowly began to decline. The dynasty went through a slow death. The falling in slow motion can be compared to a slow death, which took place for the dynasty. And then he moves on to talk about some of the reasons why this dynasty had its fall. So the members of this dynasty, they had a lot of problems. So what were the various problems are highlighted are uh, told in the following lines. 
some of them died of bone tb so bone tb was one uh, you know big health issue which these uh, people from the dynasty faced faced and then the others they were victims of the london floor fog that went to their heads so some others died because of the chill climate or the you know the coldness so it was known that most of the members from the dynasty they fled from india and they went to uh, uk britain and over the, the climate over there was not very conducive for them and so they faced a lot of health issues so we find that diseases and health issues were one big reason why the members of this dynasty declined and they died and went away the next reasons are some of them of current trends while some others of imported wine and women so wine and women were the promiscuous ways the habits of the british which these people from the dynasty they tried to follow they tried to emulate and by mimicking the ways of the you know colonials what happened was it in turn affected their own life lifestyle and we find that there was a deterioration of their health as well as you know there was a deterioration of the lifestyle also and we find that few others in the dynasty they died a heroic deaths so they were heroes in war and they had honorable deaths but some others were not as lucky and they had to go through poverty so their death was very pathetic they did not have enough riches they did not have enough money to spend for themselves and to uplift their lives so they had a pathetic death so then moving on he also talks about the kith and kin of the last prince so what happened to these kith and kin they need it relatives of the last prince we find that few of them had died of suicide especially the young sister who was lovely she was actually a victim of suicide and we also find that uh, you know the children there were many children who were still born who were born dead still born meaning they were born dead and there were numberless you know cousins everyone from the dynasty we find that they were just you know dying away due to various reasons and we also find that even the women the the women of his harem the the women who who used to have royal pets like minas and parrots and everything had died and gone away to the dust so you know almost nothing was remaining and slowly by slowly this dynasty was a victim of time this dynasty deteriorated in the flux of time so we find that this is what ramanujan says in the first half of the poem and then moving to the next half he talks about the deterioration of the prince in the flux of time so how and uh, you know what happens to this prince we find that this prince he lives on he does live on you know others have died others have gone away but he lives on and how does he live on he lives with long fingers meaning he has an unhygienic lifestyle and he has he still believes in superstitious beliefs like the belief in which if you saw auspicious snakes in the skylight you know it was believed that uh, it helped them become a rich and it it was a sign of uh, prosperity and he believed that if he saw that sign he would prosper but it was unfortunate for him because he had pathetic health condition we find that his health condition was not as uh, supportive as his lifestyle also we find that he had a, a cough he had to he had continuous sneezing he had a balance of phlegm and bile and then he also had loose bowels and hard sheep's pellets so the cough phlegm bile all are relative terms for the various ailments that he had so he had a lot of health issues and we also find that uh, he had you know loose bowels and hard sheep pellets so hard sheep pellets have a very disgusting smell so sheep's uh, excreta it has a lot of disgusting smell so you know his life was so pathetic and uh, it was deplorable and we find uh, that he continues to live despite this health issues health deterioration he continues to live and then we find out about the family's miseries and hardships wherein we find the two of his girls honey and bunny they go to school but there also they have to pay only half fees which means that economically he was not strong to 
to even pay the fees of his children and then we move on to see that his wife has only one heirloom and which is a pearl of a nose ring and usually women you know they adorn with them these women from these royal families they adorn themselves with a lot of jewelry but this last prince's wife she just has one heirloom pearl and unfortunately we also find that she's pregnant with another child and here is the question whether he will be able to provide for this child so even that is a big question mark whether with his economic condition he would be able to provide for this child and then the poet goes on to talk about another child of this prince who is also a victim of the flux of time we find that his son who is supposedly to be the heir after him is just working as a trainee in telegraphy so he's working in a low menial job a mediocre job and the money also is not money flow is also not very good we find that he's already texted telegraph three times for money and so here we see there's a paucity or dirt for money and we find that the prince is not even able to provide for the needs of his children so this is the pathetic condition of this last prince where his health deteriorates and his economic condition also has deteriorated and we find that he's living a life of sadness a life not of fl flourishment and fulfillment but a life almost of failures so in this poem we find ak ramanujam highlighting how time actually turns around the life of even royalties so this was our destination to the poem explanation hope you've understood and let's follow and arrive at our destination 3 which is a comprehensive discussion of our themes so the main themes of these poems are pathos that is the sadness which lingers on in the poem we find that both the halves the deterioration of the dynasty as well as the personal deterioration of the king actually has a lot of sadness in it and we also find the second theme the deplorable life condition of both you know everyone in the dynasty and the prince's life and the flux of time which we find is the major player for all the changes that are occurring in the life of the prince can also be discussed as the, as another important and salient theme so hope all of you have understood and we finally completed our journey and these are the references that were used for this uh, lecture hope all of you learned and understood the concepts well so thank you everyone for your patient listening and happy learning thank you